Leonard Euler was born in Basel, Switzerland on April 15, 1707, first son to a pastor and a pastor's daughter. By age 13, Leonard enrolled in the University of Basel, completing a master's in philosophy at age 16. His dissertation compared the philosophies of Descartes and Newton. By age 20, Euler published another dissertation concerning the propagation of sound, called De Sono, and won second place in the Paris Academy Prize problem, questioning the best placement of masts on a ship. At this point, Euler had never seen the ocean. At age 14, Euler started his tutelage under the time's preeminent mathematician, Johann Bernoulli. I soon found an opportunity to be introduced to a famous professor, Johann Bernoulli. True, he was very busy, and so refused flatly to give me private lessons. But he gave me much more valuable advice to start reading more difficult mathematical books on my own and to study them as diligently as I could. If I came across some obstacle or difficulty, I was given permission to visit him freely every Sunday afternoon, and he kindly explained to me everything I could not understand. Bernoulli recognized the potential for greatness in Euler and convinced Leonard to pursue mathematics rather than follow his father into the clergy. This tutelage and friendship would lead to Euler's first job in academics. In 1726, Euler accepted his first position at the Russian Academy of Science in St. Petersburg, teaching mathematics and mechanics applications in physiology. By 1730, he was a full professor in physics at the academy. St. Petersburg is where Euler began his seminal work in number theory, analysis, differential equations, and graph theory, and also where he published his first book, Mechanica. Euler also began losing vision in his right eye while in Russia. Because of an unstable political environment, Euler accepted a position at the Berlin Academy in 1744. He would return to St. Petersburg in 1766. Euler died on September 18, 1783, while discussing the newly discovered planet Uranus. In 1734, at age 28, Euler solved the Basel problem, a problem involving an infinite series and its sum, which had been posed nearly a hundred years earlier in 1644 by Pietro Mingoli. Euler's solution propelled him to academic celebrity, a position he would maintain until death. The Basel problem asks, what is the sum of the infinite series of the reciprocals of the squares of the natural numbers? Euler used a novel approach. This is a symbolic representation of the Basel problem. An infinite sum of the reciprocals of the squares of the natural numbers. Euler's approach was novel in that he used other infinite series in his proof. First consider the infinite expansion for sine of x. Now divide through by x, reducing the order of each term by 1. We can implement the Weierstrass factorization theorem. This is essentially writing all the roots of sine of x over x in an infinite product. This is also known as magic. We multiply this product and collect all of the x squared terms. Now recall our expansion for sine of x over x, and notice our x squared coefficient is 1 over 3 factorial, or 1 over 6. We can compare both coefficients of x squared. If we move some parameters around, we show that the sum is equal to pi squared over 6.